Broncos and the Raiders atop the AFC West. But a block turned into a bounce, and the bounce into a game-winning TD. And Denver was an overtime winner, as Jim Gray reports. It happens too often to simply be called coincidental. It's almost too hokey to call it destiny. But maybe, in fact, there is someone watching over the Denver Broncos. When Dennis Smith blocked Bob Thomas's 40-yard field goal attempt in overtime, and Louie Wright picked it up and scampered 60 yards for the touchdown, the Chargers had become the victims of another Bronco miracle. They do it so much, I've seen this thing is called a roll. You know, as, uh, as I, all I've been seeing in Denver is at the end, they come up with the big play, you know, and done again today. I think it's a little bit of luck, uh, you know, to get those kind of uh, turnovers. We got to have some luck going, but, you know, we also practice turnovers. We practice, you know, picking up the fumble on the run, et cetera. So, uh, you know, some of it's luck, but I think we prepare hard, and when luck, when the position comes up, uh, we take advantage of it. The Broncos blocked three field goals, recovered two fumbles, intercepted two passes, and they were able to convert those opportunities into 27 of their 30 points. We turn the ball over to their offense and put our defense in a, you know, a heck of a hole to get out of them. You know, they got out so many times and they, they didn't, you know, a lot of times. I think this team has grown a lot in the last couple of years, and they, we now believe that the close ones should belong to us. If you go into the game with that, with that in your mind, I think more often than not, you're going to come out with a victory. A lot of people think the Broncos are a very lucky team. Is that your feeling? <laughs> well, they seem to come up with the big play when they need it, and, you know, they got a tradition going of making the big play when needed, and, you know, I guess it's a little bit of luck on their side, but, you know, who, who succeeds without luck in this world? Some people think the Broncos are good. Others believe that they continue to be the NFL's luckiest team. Last year, they went 13-3 and three and got no respect, so they called themselves Rodney's Rejects. This year, they're 8-3, and, and they no longer care if anybody says that they're lucky. They simply point to the standings.